Hello everyone, it's Ability44 here, and I want to tell you about the patch notes on March the 13th that happened with the Loyalty Program Editions and the Lodestone Network, which the Lodestone Network is the teleporting method that doesn't actually need runes, it just operates off the home teleport. Now, I do just read these straight off from the patch note page, so you can actually just switch back on over to RuneScape if you don't want to you know, watch me as I do what I do on screen and just listen to me read them out. Now, Mod Michelle was so nice to post these patch notes. The first category is graphical, root finding around the swamp northwest of the Gnome Stronghold has been corrected, focus sites in Hexcrest no longer cause players to have a bald patch, the proselyte Hobrick and Crozy no longer stretch while performing animations. Female players now wield a chaotic maul correctly whilst wearing a bandos chestplate. The Fountain of Heroes animation has been updated. The animation for picking herbs from a farming spot has been updated. Water is no longer floating above the flower in farming patch near Port Fasimus. Familiars being attacked by Night Gazer. Night Correct. No longer play a broken def defed defend animation. Virewatch clothes no longer stretch when sitting as a female player. A spider web in the wilderness can not be walked through without slashing it anymore. Some flickering issues on the surrounding wall of Yanil have been fixed. The Arden Rouge Clockwork Tower's top floor now appears to be attached to the rest of the building. The blocked cave at the beginning of Troll War Zone now fits in better with the surrounding wall. The Dorgishkan Keldegrim train stations no longer go bright white with bloom enabled. Which is good because, like, there's a few settings, like, you know, in bloom, there's a few areas in bloom where everything just, like, has a nuclear war bomb go off, and it's just kind of like, whoa, what the fuck is this about? You know, because bloom looks awesome, but there's a lot of glitches with it still since it's a new graphical setting. And the last thing on the graphical category updates for the patch notes are Arg the Troll is no longer missing a section of his back. So thank God for that. Now that motherfucker has a back. The second category is Quest and Task on the patch notes. Increased damage against ice strike worms whilst wearing the Tozikar call now functions correctly. Heraldic's post ritual of Margaret. Chat has been updated to reflect events that happened during the ritual. A cutscene with Bob the Cat from Tale of Two Cats no longer places the players next to Exuan, Exuan from Troll Warzone. The music tracks from Elder from the Elder Kellen now all unlock when logging in after completing the quest. So that's good. Now we have those music tracks. Yay! If you've completed those quests. Skills in minigame is the next category for the patch notes. It is now possible to hear Tozik Jad attack when he is out of draw distance range. So let me just read that one more time, uh, because this is the only skills in minigame patch note for this week. It is now possible to hear Tozik Jad's attack when he is out of draw distance range. So... That's the patch note for skills and minigames. Now, for the other patch notes, the last category in the patch notes for March the 3rd. The Polymorph Staff's accurate stance tooltip now reflects that the player will gain defense experience if they have defensive casting enabled on the magic interface. It will also now switch to a defensive stance when switching weapons if on the long range stance. <coughs> Player's tool belts will now be filled with all non-quest items on login. Cockatrice and Basilisk are no longer given as Slayer assignments to players with less than 20 defense, and Wall Beast are no longer assigned to players with less than 5 defense. So thank God for that. Recolored and charged Slayer Full Helms now also drop Hexcrest and Focus Sights when dying in PvP combat. 
Torva armor can now be recharged for a small price if the item it has degraded slightly, but not enough to drop the percentage below 100%. It is no, it is, eh, let me start over on that one. It is no longer possible for a clan member to set permissions for another rank that they do not have the permissions themselves. A typo on gaining enough experience for the Jack of Trades aura has been fixed. Several force walk tiles around R Roderick's house in Edgeville have been removed. A gate in Taverly is no, long no longer has a broken clickable option on it. The spiced potions from Tiny Acorns and Lost Her Marbles recommendations no longer displays as incomplete once a player has completed the Herblore Barbarian Training and Thieves Guild side quest. So that has been all your patch notes for March the 13th for RuneScape. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I really hope that y'all enjoyed, I guess, listening to the patch notes because I highly doubt that anybody was watching this fucking video while listening. You were probably scaping it up, gaining some experience, which is totally fine. If you would like to know where to see these patch notes at, if you missed any, or if you just want to replay this video for a little read-along, you can check out the description. The patch notes are going to be in there. Also, at the top of the patch notes, they make sure to remind us that if we see any bugs with anything that has been patched up, make sure to submit them to the Bug Report Center. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video, and I will be making another patch note video next update, and you can look forward to my, uh, what's it called? The Landstone Network Guide video next on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be making that Lodestone Network video shortly. Goodbye.